Okay, so here it is. This is the outside of the studio. We're finally complete. And we went with a green and brown color scheme. And all of the wall coverings and the trim are made of old pallets that we stripped down. So we saved a whole bunch of money. And also we think it kind of looks cool. And we just nailed it right into the plywood below. And we even made the doors up there out of pallet wood. Just threw some hinges on it and um, some screens and on the side we didn't care as much on the sides and on the back side if they were a perfect match and actually we thought it looked kind of cool almost looks like some kind of crazy 3d tetris wall um, so anyway how about we go inside and check out what we did in the studio slash man cave Okay, so this first section is my chill zone section. This is where I can have a drink, play video games, listen to music, and overall just have fun. But So how about we take a little closer look and I explain it to you in a little bit more detail. Here we go. Okay, so I call this my chill section. I've got my futon, I've got my guitar, and I've also got my cool Ikea hack light so I can take a drink, play video games, or play a uh, rock band or music or whatever I want right here. Or it turns into a bed in case I tick somebody off and I have to sleep right now. When we were building the studio we wanted to make sure that there would be some natural light coming into it so that's why we put in a couple of windows and it just seemed like a cool place to mount the guitar. It seemed like it was made for it. And how about we check out what the next section is going to be. And as you can see, it's coming up right now. So when we were designing the whole layout, we, I definitely wanted to have a workbench. And so I called this my work zone section. And this is where I put all my tools up and do a lot of my DIY projects. So let's check it out. Okay, so this is my work section. I got my workbench here. I've got my pallet wall where I put magnetic strips up and I have all my hand tools up there, at least all the most used ones, and I have all my screwdrivers. I also put a uh, strip for power in the back and I repainted my workbench and put a vise on it. So once again, I used pallet wood to create this uh, tool wall and it came out pretty much like we wanted it to and I also got some little shelves here to hold screws and other little DIY project uh, pieces and I got over here a little magnetic uh, bowl where I hold all the pieces inside of there that are metal little screws I don't want to lose and this is a really cool work surface. I don't know if you noticed the little man cave bottle opener, but that is my most used tool. Okay, so let's head over to the storage zone section. And it's just what it sounds like. This is where I store all of my stuff, my DIY projects and tools and stuff. So let's check it out. Okay, so this is my storage section. This is where I keep all my DIY projects. I have all my boxes labeled up here. I have uh, stuff for computers and routers and power. And I have all my DIY projects, all my little knickknacks and screws. And all of the rest of this is just storage. Over here, I have my uh, power tools and I have my battery charging station and uh, just general storage for all of my tools. Okay, so now we've come to my favorite part of the studio slash man cave it's my liquor cabinet and right here I have my little uh, map that holds bottle caps I have a coffee station 
where I keep my instant little uh, coffee and I have a little mini fridge and let's just see what's inside of that mini fridge oh look at that very nice I like it so other than that I have a little bit of water on the left side there and that's for my coffee machine let's take one more look at that beautiful cabinet Okay, so over here is my entertainment section. I have my 60-inch uh, plasma TV. I have my PlayStation 3. I have my Wii. I have my receiver. I have my uh, nice uh, now hear this speakers hooked up to the whole thing, so the whole thing uh, can play music and or um, videos through that. And if I hit this button over here. Alexa, and I can say stuff like, computer, play ACDC. Shuffling songs by CDC. Computer, play songs by Tool. Shuffling songs by Toolbox. Computer, stop. Computer, play songs by Daft Punk. Shuffling songs by Daft Punk. Stop. So planning out the layout of the studio, I made sure to run HDMI cables from my laptop over to my TV and also for my security cameras over to my TV. So here's an example of me testing out my HD home run unit and watching live TV from my PC to my television. So let's check that out and then I'll show you how it looks with my video cameras going through my recorder to the television. So as you can see I'm watching and streaming basically live TV off of my network over to my 60 inch TV on the wall. So I'm just testing it here making sure that uh, there's not too much lag and uh, it looks like it's running pretty good. Now let's check out how YouTube looks on a 60 inch television. Looks pretty good. Now let's check out how the security cameras look. I have that going through another input on the other HDMI cable so I can see all my security cameras live on my television anytime I want just by changing the input. And then I can also rock some video games on here by just hitting a switcher, uh, HDMI switcher, on my entertainment center. And yes, I am rocking a Wii. Actually, when we broke out the Wii and started playing it, we forgot how much fun it is, so don't laugh. The Wii is still pretty fun. So when I had filmed this, I had just had the Wii and the Alexa connected to the receiver. But since then, I have added a new cable that allows my Wii to go through HDMI. And I've also added my PlayStation 3. And I put an HDMI switcher in so that I could switch between all of those 
and go into my receiver through an optical cable. So here's all of my stuff here, and I can play everything through Computer. the receiver. Play Iron Maiden. So last but not least is my workstation, which I have my laptop on. I have an MSI uh, GE62 Apache Pro, and it has an NVIDIA 960M. Uh, all the ports are USB 3.1. I have an i7 core 6700HQ with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 250 gigabytes of Samsung SSD storage, I've also got a one terabyte storage drive and it is paired with my LG ultra wide monitor and I use a blue ice mic. So this is what I use to edit my videos so far. I might be building a new build to do just editing on, but that's in the future. And as you can see, I have this all on top of my sit stand desk and I did do a video on how I made my sit-stand desk, but I basically did an IKEA top and I had an existing sit-stand frame that just had a really messed up top. So I just replaced it, screwed it all in and tested it and it works great. Now here's an overview of the whole studio man cave. And as you can see, I also installed some LED lighting for accents. This isn't even the brightest setting but it uh, came out really cool, pretty much just the way I wanted it. I know that lighting is a big thing in studios, so I installed uh, all new lights, all LED lighting, and it works pretty well. I think it looks pretty bright. The only thing that isn't LED is that backlight over my workbench. And my ceiling fan isn't LED lighting yet, but I'm gonna be getting some RGB uh, controllable lighting I think in the future for that light. Overall it came out pretty much like I hoped. It has everything that I had in my original design in my first video. I hope you guys like this tour of my studio and I hope that I can create informative videos that you guys enjoy to watch. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Subscribe if you want to catch more tutorial videos and much more. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here.